be? Yo, that's my. What Maya? I am. I am Maya. That's my sister's best friend. Though I told my sister yep. she should give me a number. She said no. No. Why? Because you have a girlfriend, and you don't do boyfriends of girlfriends. What kind of men are Why is he in Ghana? You ah. don't go. Why well, I can't be in Ghana? This is my country. We have sacked you. We don't need you here, bro. Like a Africa to the world, but Ghana is still home. You know. I am Maya. I am. <laughs> But, I, but I, I'm leaving Ghana tomorrow, though. That's why I wanted to see you. Why are you going to Congo? Ivory Coast? <laughs> or save up Africa? I, no, I'm are going to... So US, Kakra? No, I don't want US. I, I always want to travel Africa. Why are you Africa, going to? Are you experience going to? Africa. I'm going to South Sudan and Somalia. You know Somalia? No, I swear. Ah, you didn't get any place to go than that place. Ah, why? I'm going to Somalia. For what? What are you saying? Hey, <laughs> where are no, you? I said I'm going to Somalia tomorrow. Which side are you? You are not reading. About what? Piracy. You are not reading. To all my fans out there, I know you love me. But you know what? I just have to do this just to prove to you guys that there are no pirates in Somalia. Absolutely. Pray I come back. Hey. 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 Kidnapping. You are not reading. Master, when you're serious. They are even kidnapping kings. You. You. Who died and made you a demigod? <laughs> We're still in the dark. We're riding in the dark. We're riding in the dark. It's still nighttime here. Um, and we're still riding in the dark, man. In Mogadishu. So, as you can see, in the dark. And no one is coming to kidnap me. No, no one. Absolutely no one. It's crazy. Yo! No one loves you. After all that I she said. Eat, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'll take you to eat. But, you know what? I'm not going to listen to you. Because I'm on a journey to change the narratives of Africa, so I'm definitely going to Somalia, whether you like oh. it or not. Hey, how are you, man? I'm good, man. How about you? Welcome to Mogadishu. Thank you. How are you feeling so far? I mean, feeling great, man. No bombs, right? No. <laughs> Say that again. Say that again. No what? <laughs> no explosions, no <laughs> shit. <laughs> like I say, no explosions. Yeah. It, it, it means that you all think that when you come to Mogadishu, you have to be hiding bullets. But your boy is not hiding bullet. I'm actually hiding from fruits, bro. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I won't lie to you guys, man. Uh, I don't know if I'm really sure of what I'm doing. It's 7 to 55 exactly here in um, Haragesia. And we are heading to Mogadishu, man. Like, literally, I'm going to stay in Mogadishu for two days. Extreme, like, I won't lie. Extremely scared because anyone that I've been asking about Mogadishu, they don't really say anything good, man. So this is a matter of taking the risk, man. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a Djibouti from here to um Harikishi. Where are you passing? If you go this way. This way, eh? Yeah? yeah. I think Steven is already scared, but um... <laughs> yo, how do you feel, man? Are you okay? I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yesterday he sent me like um, a picture of uh, what do you call it? Like, um... oh hi. Hey, See, hey. how are you doing? Good. Man, thank you so much, man. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> thank you, man. I got like YouTube subscribers everywhere, man. So this is the airline, hey, Djibouti. It looks so good, man. Yeah, that's hey, Djibouti, man. We are really doing this, and you just have to come with us, man. Whoa! Touching down in Mogadishu is super crazy, man. It felt like we were touching down inside the India Ocean, man. I'm like, yo, can we see land already? <laughs> Whoa, welcome to the country with the longest coastal line in the entire Africa, man. Jeez. Yeah, finally here in Mogadishu, man. 
she's the one who made everything possible. Absolutely. I hope I have a good time in here. Yeah, but um, so far so good. Djibouti airline takeoff, cruising, landing was perfectly smooth. So I recommend whenever you traveling within the Somali region, definitely try a Djibouti. Welcome to Somalia. You are in the city, the capital city of Somalia, Mogadishu. We are a nation that's located on the Horn of Africa, the eastern side. We are neighboring by Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Yemen. We are a country with history, with people, with heroes, and with young people like us who are here to show you how beautiful our country is. Right now, we are currently at the Sayyid area. The monument you see behind me is called Sayyid Muhammad Abdul Hassan. He was the hero of the Somali people. He was a nationalist, he was the hero, he brought the Somali country together, he was the one that uh, fought with the British, he was the, not only was he a hero, he was a poet. Imagine fighting with the Sayyid and he's using his poetry to get the people together, to tell them, hey, we are a nation who is Muslim, who are one, who share the same tribe and the same religion and the same food. He was not only a hero for, to the Somali people, he was a hero to Africans. <laughs> I basically had to face my fear and come to Mogadishu. I heard a lot about Mogadishu. I know nobody even knows that I'm here because if I should tell anybody that I'm going to Mogadishu, they'll be telling me that why would you do this? Is it even worth it to risk your life to go to a place like that? But hey, look at me right here, walking in the street of Mogadishu with no bodyguards or whatsoever. I mean, I feel like it's, an, it's just like any other African country. So I'm here to explore, so you know what? Come with me, let's have fun, enjoy Mogadishu just like any other city in the world. It's your favorite village boy, and I'm here in Somalia, Mogadishu. And all I can tell you guys is that Kosodo, Somalia. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something that you don't know. You know, I've been here for the past 48 hours and I can tell you something. Do you all know the flag of Somalia? With a white star 
and the blue behind the entire country looks exactly like their country flag so as you can see you see the sea behind the ocean behind me the ocean is what blue and white even though some of you think that ocean is colorless but what i'm seeing with my naked eyes is blue and white and just look up here look at the sky it's also blue and white so i just want to tell you that welcome to somalia You all know that the people of Somalia are blessed with what? The sea, right? So when I got here, I realized that fishing is one of the major occupations in this country. As you can see, the young people from this country are actually fishing right now. You know, I don't know if um, I should go try it out, whether I'll be able to catch one fish for you all. I want to carry this fish, man. I don't know if I'll be able to carry it. That was a big fish. Can you, can you carry it? <laughs> it's strong, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that again. I'm not doing that again, man. What? You know what? I I'm super excited to be here in Somali because I found one of my favorite meats of all time. So, which means that Ghana and Somali have something in common. You know what? Don't get me wrong, but this thing right here. It's my favorite meat of all time. If you've been watching my videos for so long, I keep on telling you that kako is my favorite. I mean, getting kako and fufu is like making my entire year, man. And I'm seeing this in Somali. That's amazing, man. I would say that this place is actually home for me because I found my favorite dish. Yo! It's a favorite village boy right here in the Horn of Africa. As you can see, I'm right here all by myself, chilling at the longest coastal line in mainland Africa. If you don't know the distance or the length, I'm just gonna tell you today, it's 3,333 kilometers. As you can see, they got white sand beaches. I mean, I feel like being in Somalia, it's just like being in any other African country, enjoying yourself at the beach. And this is what I'm doing. Whoa, this is a beautiful country, man. And I'm so glad that I came, bro. I'm so glad that I came. I just want to tell you that welcome to the longest coastal line in Africa. One, two, three, go. Yeah, go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. People told me so many things. Even when I arrived the very first day, they refused to allow me to enter. It took me like nine good hours at the airport, but I was still, I mean, positive to come to the country just to come and see what the entire media is talking about is so true. I'm not here to tell you that Somali is the safest country in the world. If I should tell you that, which means I will be lying to you, but I'm telling you that Somali is just like any other country in Africa that I've ever visited. I mean, coming in here, I see similarities between Mogadishu and Dakar of Senegal. I mean, maybe some part of Ghana looks like this. So my brothers and sisters, give Somali a chance. Go live your life, come and explore. And you know what? What I'm gonna tell you, be positive. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some, man. Are you recording? Go ahead, go ahead. 
about the longest coastal line in Africa and I never knew a day will come I will actually be walking along the longest coastal line in Africa I mean this is what makes me happy to go out there and go live my life you know what I've been, I've been hearing a lot about Somali I mean this is the country that I know I've got a lot of fans in here they keep on calling me names Maya you've been to Kenya Ethiopia Uganda but you don't want to come to Somalia because you're racist they are discriminating against us and I'm like you know what it's not a perfect time but I know for sure that the right time will come a day will come that I'll step my foot here in Mogadishu Somalia and today is the day the day has come you know I, I, I actually faced a lot of challenges at the airport but at the end of the day I came here for the people and I know the immigration doesn't represent the people so after nine hours I made it to Mogadishu and look at me right here walking along the longest coastal line in Africa man it's such a beautiful place man I feel like I made history you know you know I made history so I'm gonna tell you out there you know what believe in yourself go out there and go make history I love you all and I'm gonna see you in the next one yo it's my last day here and I just want to say something I am so glad that I came to Mogadishu despite all the challenges that I faced I was able to meet the people you know I mean the people makes a country right and the people have shown me nothing but pure love man I I feel so bad that I listened to what the media was saying I had to book two three days of which I've regretted for booking a short time I should have actually booked a longer time to have more time in Mogadishu so yeah um, I'm definitely gonna come back for sure thanks to Mokatar for making this whole movement in Mogadishu a good one and a big shout out to the lady who actually made this trip possible yes. Yes. I say like the person who really convinced me real hard was Marianne yep. so it's you been a pleasure uh, having you yeah. here uh, at the end of the day I just want to tell you this is your home you're not a stranger this is Africa regardless of the situation regardless of everything we went through I went through it with you uh, and that's that's all I want to say and we hope to see you again and I hope 
the the um, the people have uh, would enjoy the episode that we have from Somalia. So she's a YouTuber. You all should check out the description box. Go check her out. Subscribe to her YouTube channel and support her. Mokatar is also a YouTuber. The yep. link will be in the description. Yep. Um, even though he has been absent for decades, and I hope he comes back again. Yeah. It's your favorite village boy right here. And big shout out to Steven. Even though he was scared, but um, he made it. I mean, the first time, the last day we had to come, he's like, Maya, are you sure we're doing this? And yeah, we did it. And um, we'll see you all. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Oh, okay. Oh, where, 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 where? I mean, the police are even nice, man.